How's everybody doing? My name is Mike from Roots Canine Training. Now, the audio on this uh, video uh, we had some difficulties with and uh, we weren't able to get that. So, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, narrate it for you guys. So, this is Luna. She is the litter mate of Kira and uh, she is the same age. So, she's about five months old and we're just doing some pressure training. I'm just wanting her to uh, listen. Uh, to the leash so if, if I didn't mention she's also a lab uh, pit mix so I want her to listen to the leash so when she feels tension I want her to come my way and I want her to start looking to me for where uh, she she needs to go so every time she comes towards me with a loose leash I'm, I'm telling her good girl every time she makes that turn for me so every time she makes a turn uh, even if she gets a little bit uh, of once she gets pressure and then she makes a turn, I'm still saying good and I'm uh, definitely saying good if she makes it before uh, any pressure is given. And that's actually what the pressure teaches them. Once they start listening to the pressure, then they realize, oh, let me just watch him and uh, go where he is going. So coming up here, you're gonna see me reach out to uh, pet the dog and she jumps back and it's gonna be right about here. And uh, so, what happened is is uh, I was going to uh, give her affection for coming towards me and let her know that's what I want, and she jumped backwards. Only a fearful dog will move uh, backwards in that fashion. So that is a important thing to know. If your dog is uh, shies away from things and does not want to move forward but wants to move backwards in uh, certain situations, then they are a fearful dog, and it's important to note that and uh, work with them so by jumping back the dog tells me that uh, they are fearful so what's going to help them is if i just give verbal praise until i earn their trust then i can start uh, reaching out and petting them 